Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. I'm Bill Boudreau. Sorry about that, not Bobby this time. Been away from the camera for a little while, just kind of one of those situations that puts your life on hold to get a loved one through some treatment and surgeries and more treatment, but but all's good on that front. And I still, through all that, managed to stay incredibly busy with the hobby. Hopefully you know, bringing Bobby's SGH deals to the US by opening up a store um, working a little bit as and work in progress on a studio to be able to bring more content uh, later on this year and then you know being involved in the Genesis Models forum seeing the exceptional work coming from the members there and, and doing some kit builds myself. I thought I'd kind of get my feet wet again here by doing a little review on, a, on what hopefully you'll agree is a really nice kit. I'm talking about Galaxy Hobbies M1224A1 Max Pro MRAP vehicle. Now on an internet search, I couldn't really find that relationship between Galaxy Hobby and T-Model, but the molds for this kit are actually tooled by T-Model. So um, if you know that relationship, you know, feel free to post some comments below. Um, but that is an interesting facet that, you know, you look at this kit and it's got all the all the kind of features that you would otherwise see in a 72nd scale armor uh, or vehicle kit coming from T-Model. So uh, let's take a look at the box here real quickly. Um, just really nice cover art right there with the MRAP in that Expedient Armor Program configuration. That configuration involves those armor plates that are actually offset from the vessel there. Um, it's got the uh, OG uh, PK turret, I think it is, is that um, uh, uh, gunner protection turret that's mounted on various different types of vehicles. Also has kind of the uh, IED electronic detection device there on the front. Coming to look at uh, the side of the box, we have the, the decal sheet, photo etch fret pictured right there. And there are actually different configurations of this kit right here and when you look at the box you can actually see what are some of the other features related to those other configurations uh, additional photo etch frets some um, personnel that belong in the vehicle rucksacks there and of course some other bonuses that you can see with different weaponry and and other features as well Nothing too much on the uh, other parts of the box here, maybe with the exception of uh, some good art right there with the whole vehicle assembly and a couple RFID uh, labels there that take you to some links. So let's kind of take a look uh, in the plastic here. Every sprue, as you can see, is packaged individually here, so really nice packaging starting off the bath. And this kit contains about 168 parts to it, uh, give or take, I think. Um, so for a 72nd scale kit, there's a lot of little uh, pieces that, that are gonna come along to this. So let's start kind of taking a look at the first piece here. And I'm gonna bring you over here to show a little closer detail. But what we've got here is the uh, hood of the vehicle. And you can really see some nice grill detail right there. Um, right at the right at the front of, of the hood as well as some panel lines and indentations around the rest of the hood for latches and, and whatnot so all in all good good start to the to the parts here we're gonna take a quick look here at, at this one this looks to be like it's the uh, gun protector kit that's what the GPK stands for uh, the gunner protection kit really what it is is it's the turret right here and you can see with that opening, um, some really nice little detail with the hatch right there. And coming over here to the overhead protection, you know, even on the side walls, you can actually see some uh, nice framing as well as some bolt patterns that go around where all the ballistic glass would otherwise go in these particular parts. Um, some other um, turret pieces coming along right here and then we've got a nice 50 cal machine gun uh, that's really well detailed on, on both sides of that particular gun so all in all really cool start with the turret uh, sprue coming over here this is the expedient armor uh, kit that is on the exterior of the of the vessel the different plates that are offset and as you can tell right here 
we have all of the framing right there that actually offsets the armor plates from the vessel of the vehicle. When you come in and take a look at the armor plates themselves, you can actually see the really nice bolt patterns that they have around each of these individual armor pieces. And the thickness of these pieces is actually really representative of um, you know, the thickness of the armor that's actually going on, on these vehicles. The only thing that you can certainly see there is you have some ejector pin marks. Now, you know, the probability of seeing those ejector pin marks on the uh, inside of these armor plates is, you know, probably slim to none. But um, I'll leave it up to you if you certainly want to address those ejector pin marks. But all in all, some really good detailed assemblies here, or piece parts here for the armor that goes on the vehicle. Coming over here to the main sprues, um, we'll take a look at this one right here. This is, this looks like it's representative of uh, what's probably starting the chassis. Um, and you can kind of tell right here, we've got these chassis pieces, the sides of the chassis, and they're really molded with uh, some really nice detail on them from different armor plates, bolt patterns. You've got the leaf spring suspension that goes there. and. Even for this leaf spring suspension, I don't know if this is the rear or the front, but there are a lot of individual, I would call them panel lines otherwise, if you will, that differentiate between the different springs that are in that suspension system. But overall, on the start of this chassis, very, very nice detail um, all the way around these parts. Coming over here, we've got, say, a gearbox case. I don't know if this is the differential or if that's actually one of the transmission gearbox housings, but exceptional detail from clevises and bolt patterns and the shape on, on that gearbox housing. Let me get you in over here a little bit um, to kind of see that, that detail, but very, very nice all the way around. And even on these front suspension um, cross members here, really nice detail with uh, some different shapes and protrusions and whatnot that are actually on those those uh, cross members there for the the chassis coming over here we're actually looking at some of the sides of the vessel right here again you know that really nice framing that is um, very very thick and representative for that uh, bulletproof uh, ballistic glass that goes all over the vehicle and a lot of nice different protrusions associated with um, these particular parts here. Some nice panel line detail that's right there as well. Um, so all in all, I think you can kind of see that the exterior of the vessel is going to have some really nice texture and, and um, detail on all the way around it. Coming over to this piece right here, we have the top side of the vessel, the cover of it, which um, starts with the turret opening right there, but a lot of different plates that are angled, differentiated with panel lines, different thicknesses, a um, little bit of protrusion detail around there for maybe perhaps antennas or sensors of some sort. Um, but overall, some really, really nice texture to this particular uh, part. Now looking on the underside of the vehicle, here's that here's that V-hole piece. Um, so a lot of good armor plating detail that's kind of added into the underside of that armor piece. Sorry about that, got you off camera a little bit. Uh, uh, we've got some recessed panel lines that are there and overall I think when you when you actually take a look at the chassis, when you take a look at that, that V-hull piece, you know, you're going to have a lot of different detail that's on this particular chassis even before you get the vessel attached to it. Um, interestingly, here's, that, uh, here's the, the back piece of um, the particular vessel, which is the, the rear side of it, and you've got an open door right there. Um, that uh, allows you to either have a configuration of an open access door or a closed access door. So we'll kind of see that in the instructions, I'm sure. Um, but overall, really cool start with um, a lot of the different uh, vessel parts and the chassis parts. Coming over here, this is the high part, part counts uh, sprue. 
Um, you can kind of take a look in this whole bottom section here, a lot of different members of what are otherwise the chassis. So again, you know, when you get those detailed chassis and underbody pieces installed, plus all of these extra small pieces that are affiliated with the underside of the vehicle, to include this particular differential gearbox right here, um, you're going to have a chassis that is incredibly, incredibly decked out. Uh, with a lot of different parts for a 72nd scale kit. You know, you may want to show off that underside uh, somehow. So, very, very cool. Uh, coming over here, we can actually take a look at more of the um, exterior of the vessels, different windows. These are the doors, actually. So, nice little framing for the ballistic glass that goes on the door, different bolt pattern protrusions that are on there. Even a little bit of hinge detail here on the side. This is otherwise the uh, vertical positioning of that door. So you've got a little bit of hinge detail over here on uh, both of these long edges of, of these doors. So very, very cool. We've got some uh, additional exterior uh, features of the vessel. Um, these are the, uh, the wheel wells um, for, I think, the front wheels. So very, very nice detail and shapes and complex angles associated with those parts uh, as well. Uh, coming over here, we have the dash that's there. Probably not going to have much visibility into the dash. Um, but still, it's actually got some very nice small detail associated with it. We've got that front chassis bumper right there. Um, so very, very cool detail with that. Being able to kind of get some bracketry going there for that IED mount, uh, detector mount, as well as maybe perhaps the, uh, the winch that's on there. Coming over here, you look at these seats, you know, the seats in this MRAP vehicle are actually suspended by some rope. And you can tell that with these particular seats, you can actually see the, oops, sorry about that, you can actually see the ropes that are suspending uh, each one of these seats here. So. Overall, I think those seats are even pretty well detailed um, and accurate to the to the actual vehicle. All right, so we're looking really good with the plastic here. You can kind of take a look at some of the other parts on there, but we're not going to cover every single one of them. Let's actually take a look at the clear parts here. A lot of uh, ballistic glass, um, the bulletproof that glass that goes all around this vehicle. Um, so you can see that that particular sprue right there and just kind of looking through this glass I mean, I really am not seeing any blemishes whatsoever Scratches or any spidering marks or anything like that Related to the clear parts and as you can tell coming over here. You can actually see let's get a little bit of focus there if we can Maybe the bigger pieces here, but that glass is pretty thick, which is very representative of ballistic glass that's go that goes on these types of vehicles. So, all in all, very good with the clear parts as well. Taking a look right here, we actually have a little bag that has the decal sheet, um, very small decal sheet. All of these decals look are certainly very small, and I guess we kind of get. A little close up, we can actually make out the writing uh, of different decals. So printed very well, and these decals are very, very thin. Um, so a mild setting solution for these decals should be should make for easy work for applying them. Taking a look at the photo etch fret here, very nice little addition, protected on both sides with a plastic film. Um, but a lot of different grates that are here for those windows. You have the air conditioning grate right there. <clears throat> different framing members throughout the vehicle. And, you know, even these pieces right here, these kind of semicircular pieces are all kind of the ladder steps that go back on, on the back side of the vehicle. So, so very, very cool so far with uh, the added photo etch fret. We'll kind of jump in here before we get into the book. We'll take a quick look at the tires. Um, rubber tires. Laser etched according to uh, some research that I saw. Uh, we'll kind of bring you in over here to take a look at, uh, get some focus here. 
But there you go. You can get some really good uh, depiction of the tire treads that are on here. The only thing that I notice is that just kind of running through the middle, um, you can actually see what otherwise is a seam line for that rubber um, that you'll have to clean up, but should be a quick cleanup job right there. Um, even kind of uh, if you look at the, the front face of this rubber, if I can just get some focus there. Um, you can actually tell that there's some really good texture going around on the on the side face of of uh, the sidewalls of these rubber wheels here. So, all in all, I think these wheels are going to add some some pretty good uh, uh, accuracy to to the particular kit. Also, too, one thing I didn't point out is that these wheels are weight on wheels, so there is a flat spot on them that kind of keeps that wheel in place. So. All in all, very cool. Let's take a look at the instruction booklet. Nice, nice uh, rigid instruction booklet, not necessarily a flimsy piece of paper or anything like that. Kind of opens up here with the sprue layouts. Um, we've got some of those uh, extra accessories that don't necessarily come with the kit, but they are depicted in the instructions. And this, this stuff is for the turret. Now, I don't know, I'm not so sure about that because you've you've got photo etch, which is very, very thin metal, but these OGPK turrets are actually very thick pieces of metal, so I'm not sure if photo etch is really going to be representative of um, the actual thickness of the metal plates that make up that turret. Um, you know, you might want to opt for the actual plastic parts that are thicker um, on the sprues themselves, so... We get going here with the chassis, um, those side pieces and the cross members that go on there, muffler added there. Um, we start getting that front bumper assembly and framing assembly on that as well. Um, so very simple start to the underside. Here's the differential and the rods that go on to the different attachments that go on to that rear differential. Got that front steering uh, assembly right there as well as a gearbox. Um, then we start with the vessel, right? Getting getting the seats in on that on that um, uh, underside of the vessel there, and getting the dash going um, in the driver's compartment, and start working on the sides of the vehicle with the uh, ballistic glass. That you can probably keep that off while you're um, getting ready to assemble the vehicle, getting the, getting it all assembled, and getting the paint ready to go, and then maybe add them later on. Um, and then getting that whole vessel assembly together and finally attached to the chassis. But there's certainly more exterior work to go on there, you know, when you get in the, uh, the front dash and the windscreen on there, and as well as some additional side uh, members of that particular vessel. We've got the hood coming on, different smaller parts that are being attached to that hood. Um, you know, this is the underside as well. These pieces here are actually the fuel tank. Um, they don't, they're not actually representative of the tank itself, but um, there you go for that. We get, we get the roof on this whole assembly, and then we start working on that turret. Uh, getting all that turret pieces together, getting the roof on top of the turret, machine gun there as well. Getting that 50 cal on. All too cool. Getting that mounted on the top. A lot of exterior pieces throughout all of this kit that go onto the particular vessel of the vehicle just kind of adds to a really cool, well-detailed vehicle uh, for sure. And then you get into those armor plates with the standoff framing um, and the armor plates themselves and get that attached for both the the cargo area or the crew area as well as the uh, the driver and, and the uh, commander's chair on the other side of the vehicle as well so a lot of different armor plating that goes there and then of course some more exterior details I think that's a GPS antenna and the ladder on the back so really a lot of parts here's kind of that golden version exclusive where you know some of those configurations of of these kits can include some additional parts so they kind of outline that right there, and it looks like a, a golden version exclusive of this kit are, are getting some jerry cans on the back, but I'm sure you can get some aftermarket pieces to be able to deck it out there as well. 
All right, here's that open or closed um, access door configuration, more armor plate detail. You get into the tires, and I think that pretty much is going to wrap up the assembly. Here's kind of another section of a golden version exclusive with maybe that, uh, I think that's the Mark 19 uh, grenade launcher there, 240 Bravo machine gun, you know, some Pelican cases, ammo cans, so on and so forth. So all too cool there with some different features you can get with the golden version. Um, we got the markings and the paint callouts here um, on these two pages and then some additional advertising there with um, you know some of the other T model kits that uh, you can kind of get so all in all I think that kind of concludes um, this kit review so hopefully you really liked what you saw in this particular kit because for a 70 second scale vehicle um, this Max Pro is actually an incredibly cool little well-detailed kit and, and that's the thing, the product line here from Galaxy Hobby just doesn't stop with this particular kit. There is another Max Pro um, vehicle that you can get that's not in that Expedient Armor configuration but with the same turret. You've got that with just as well, uh, just as well detailed as, as this particular model. You've got the M1240 configuration of an MREC vehicle as well um, that has uh, the, the GPK turret also. Um, this is kind of one of their original ones, I think, um, kit number A01. Uh, these are the Oshkosh manufactured vehicles. They're a little bit smaller and a little bit shorter than the actual Max Pro, which are a little more narrower and taller in nature than the original. Uh, M1240. Got another one here with a different type of turret, the Crow's turret. So we've got that one as well. And then uh, the final one, which is just kind of the bare bones um, uh, OGPK turret, um, M1240 MRAP as well. So nice little family selection of MRAP vehicles in 70 second scale, all really well detailed by Galaxy Hobby using those molds from T Model. So um, that concludes this particular kit review for this vehicle. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. And until the next time, I'm Bill Boudreaux. This is Genesis Models, and we'll catch you later.